an odd magnetar star has woken up after a decade of radio silence. The spinning star is now spitting bright flashes of radio waves at us again. A team of British slash German astronomers has turned its telescopes toward the radio magnetar known as XTE J1810-197. This dense spinning star turned on in December 2018 after an almost decade-long period of dormancy. Researchers have presented results of these observations on ARXIV.org. Magnetars are neutron stars, remnants of larger stars, with extremely strong magnetic fields. They are the densest type of object besides black holes that we've detected anywhere in the universe. These incredibly dense collapsed stars are the size of Manhattan and can generate magnetic fields that are around one quadrillion times more powerful than Earth's. Astronomers have long believed such magnetars carry magnetic fields more than a million times more intense than typical neutron stars and more than a quadrillion times more powerful than Earth's own. Those magnetic fields seem to be the source of intense flashes of electromagnetic energy we can detect from Earth as the magnetar spins. XTE J1810-197 is one of only 23 magnetars and one of just four radio magnetars ever discovered. Astronomers discovered radio emission from this magnetar in 2004, a year after they've observed an X-ray outburst from this source. Then, in late 2008, it went dormant and no longer emitted radio waves. On December 8, 2018, it woke up again. Interestingly, the profile of this new rhythm of radio waves shows some pretty big differences compared to previous observations. The pulse variations seen so far from the source have been significantly less dramatic on timescales from hours to months than seen in 2006. The researchers report that the magnitude of the spin frequency of this magnetar has increased by a factor of 2.6 over the 48-day data set. The most rapid increase has occurred during the first 15 days. The astronomers have also identified 50 millisecond oscillations seen in the pulse profile of the magnetar for about 10 days after it was redetected. These oscillations have a characteristic frequency of 20 Hertz and are seen at different frequencies and different telescopes at the same time. The authors of the paper assume that such oscillations could be related to surface waves triggered in the neutron star crust with a wide spectrum of frequencies. However, astronomers will continue observing XTE J1810-197 in order to find out whether or not the pulse profile of the magnetar will experience more variations over time. This time, they discovered a swarm of supermassive black holes. Astronomers from Japan, Taiwan, and Princeton University were hunting quasars. They found 83 of them powered by supermassive black holes from a time when the universe was less than 10% of its present age. These incredible sources of light radiate more energy at once than 100 galaxies combined. Astronomers find it remarkable that such massive, dense objects were able to form so soon after the Big Bang. It is still unclear when they first formed and how many existed in the distant early universe. Even though black holes themselves are invisible, they become pretty obvious when gas accretes onto it, causing it to shine as a quasar.